couple of concrete set up uh, enough here where we can start taking these uh, forms off. Um, as you can see, I've pulled a little section off here, and you can see this is uh, this is really nasty looking. There's some, you know, just from the styrofoam, and there's some holes in it and stuff like that. So today's technique, we're going to show you how to how to fix that, how to make a tool to uh, to get that all cleaned up nice. If we were to take just a regular putty knife or something or a or a finished trowel, it'd be hard to keep that profile. So we're going to show you how to build a tool and how to fix these up nice. To be able to make one of these tools, uh, it's a really simple idea, but there's a couple little little things that they really help it to, to go good. I've done thousands of feet of, of pool edges like this, and uh, this is the best way that I've found to, to do these. So we've got our profile, we've got a little leftover piece of our, uh, of our profile that, we'll, uh, that we already have formed up. I'm gonna take a, a saw, and the first thing I'm gonna do, I don't need the whole bottom of this, you know, because this is the part that just locks onto that track. So I'm just gonna cut this off right where that track is. Always blow all the little styrofoam BBs off that you've cut. Um, another way you can do this is if you have a hot knife or something, you can cut that and it makes less of a mess. But I'm just gonna blow that off because I don't want those to sit on there when I put the tape on. Next thing I'm gonna do is take this tape, and this, this tape, I'm not even exactly sure what they use it for, uh, but I just know that this tape is, is the toughest tape that I've ever uh, came across, and it's pretty flexible. When I first started using these, I would use like just regular packaging tape and, and tape the form, and it would last like for five minutes, and then it would have a tear in it. And then when it gets a tear in the edge of this, it makes a line when you're trying to finish it. So uh, I got away from that and I went through probably four different tapes before I found uh, this one. I'm gonna put this on the actual form. I'm gonna overlap it about roughly a quarter to eighth of an inch past the form. So then I'm gonna make a mark on here where I wanna cut at. Then I'm just gonna cut a straight line down there. Now I've got my tool. I'm gonna pull enough of this tape that I know will cover the whole face of that. I'm gonna take this to the top of this and I'm gonna try to space it evenly so there's the same distance sticking out both sides. And where I start this at is very important. So I'm gonna start on there even and then flip it upside down like this and bring it around and pushing it down really good on that styrofoam. Make sure there's nothing underneath of it that's gonna make a, a little bubble, but by taping that, it just protects your form and it makes so you have a really good tool to be able to uh, slurry the face of it. So now I'm down in the pool, I've got my tool. I'm just gonna take it. And if I need a little bit of my slurry that we made the other day, I can use it on the, right on the tool. And I can use it. To kind of get this, this face and I can push pretty hard with this tool. With this tape on there, it's amazing how strong that makes this tool. On this particular job, we're just gonna, um, I think they're gonna brush this. And, but, but you could, if you're doing a stamp border, you can at this point throw release on there, spray release on it, uh, tap it with your texture mat, and get this whole thing looking good. This tool should last at least halfway around this pool or maybe even the entire time. So you don't, what's nice about it is you don't need to keep making it over and over again. Uh, what's nice about this being styrofoam too is it's a little bit pliable. So it, it actually will bend a little bit. So when you push against there, it, uh, it kind of conforms really nice to the profile that's already made. Um, as you can see where I've already uh, done it at here and over here there's a big difference. And it's really, really simple to do. So that's, that's this week's technique of the week. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Um, thanks so much for being here and um, you know, like our page. If you want more of these hands-on um, experiences, we have uh, training classes that we offer periodically throughout the year. And um, you know, come check one of those out. So I uh, appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.